Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into my channel and checking out my build and my progress and all my stuff that I have going on. I really appreciate it. When I started all of this stuff in like 2017, I didn't plan on this being a real YouTube channel, honestly. I was just kind of putting the stuff together so I didn't forget what I did and also for my kid to watch and see his dad doing all this crazy stuff and all of our primitive technologies. So I didn't really make a whole lot of great videos. In this playlist, you're gonna see some rough, unedited videos of how I built the first range extending trailer. Pretty much all of these were done in just one take. I didn't even know how to splice things together at the time. I'm still editing at like a fifth grade level currently, but at least I have improved a little bit since these videos. But I still think these videos have a lot of useful information. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I go through a lot of details on how I connected things and what I did. But as I said, I really didn't plan on making this a YouTube channel or becoming a quote unquote YouTuber. I was just doing what I love and tinkering and I wanted to show you guys the stuff I had going on. Before I get too much into it though, I thought I'd show you the garage a little bit. It's not big, it's only a two car garage. So a lot of the time I've spent working on this stuff has been outside. And I live in upstate New York and it gets cold. You can see the steam coming out of my mouth right now. Today is December 6th, 2019. And I'm creating this video just as a clarification to all the stuff I threw together in the following videos. All of my range extending projects have stemmed from the fact that I love tinkering on stuff. I love working on cars. It's just always been a part of me. I used to drag race as a kid. And yeah, I've just always been into working on my cars and stuff. Obviously the one big obstacle we have with EVs, or at least used to have in 2017, was the range. I had, and still have, my 2014 Toyota RAV4 EV. I've since owned and sold quite a few of them. I love the car. It's been absolutely amazing. The space in it is awesome. I've done reviews on the car and I've definitely talked it up a lot. So watch more videos if you're interested in the RAV4. But it has limited range. And even when it was new, my record was 144 miles. That's diminished over the years. And currently in good weather, in perfect conditions, I get around 125 miles, something like that. And that just wasn't enough. And I love road trips. I love the open road. I love just adventure and taking off and going, going somewhere for a weekend or whatever. So I wanted more range. And the charging network then, and still even now, isn't good enough for a real road trip. And I got frustrated by that and I wanted to find a better solution. So I started looking at an onboard battery pack. I thought I would build a battery pack using 18650 cells and spot weld them all together, put them all together, and extend the range of the RAV4 by adding a battery pack in the rear of the RAV4. One of the things that I love about the RAV4 was the cargo space. So I didn't really want to lose too much cargo space. And the more I looked into it, I was gonna to lose too much space. And plus there's huge risk in buying all of these cells, which are not cheap. They were about $2.80 a cell, for an LG 3400 milliamp hour cell, and it, it was just so much risk. No idea if it was actually gonna work. There's a lot of DIY guys out there putting together power walls, and I was going to use the same kind of method to add battery packs to the RAV4. So I got away from that. It, the cost was gonna be huge, and I don't think the benefit would have been great, and I didn't wanna lose the cargo area. So I started looking at other options, and I came up with the T-Rex trailer. It's a range extending trailer that doubles as a home energy storage device when it's parked here at the house if I don't have to take it for a road trip. In this first version, I'm using a battery pack from a wrecked Toyota RAV4. Now, this battery has a unique history that I don't usually go too much into because I don't wanna get anybody into trouble, but basically, in a nutshell, I think I'm safe to say that the wrecker who was supposed to crush and dismantle the vehicle and trash everything didn't. And he decided to part it out. Turns out this battery pack 
was part of a pre-production prototype RAV4 that TRD was working with. And that's kind of all I think I should say. So it's not really rare. It's the same components, same stuff that carried over to the production version. But it is a very early pack that Tesla and Toyota engineers worked with. And so it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, this thing should be in a museum. Unfortunately, I did paint it white as I explained in some of my videos coming up. But it's a rare pack and I am very happy to say that I own this thing. I was looking for a long time and this one just kind of happened to come up and when it did, I had to buy it. Back to the project I have behind me. This is the T-Rex version one. I started this in April of 2018 and it was completed and operational at the end of May 2018. My whole goal for wrapping it up and getting it done was that I wanted to use this on a road trip to Chicago. I had a wedding out there I had to go to and I didn't really want to drive. And like I said before, I love road trips and I wanted to be able to drive further than the RAV4 would allow. So this was done and working in June 2018. Since then, I have taken a ton of trips. I've been all over the place with this thing. I've been to Poolsville, Maryland to the National Drive Electric Week show there multiple times. I've taken this to Albany many times, to Rochester, Syracuse, all over New York. I've used this a lot and it works great. It's never failed me. And here today is December 6, 2019, and it's still working great. And actually right now it's powering my house and that's been pretty much the main use that I've had for this thing since completing version 2, which I'll talk about in a second. I forget the exact month, but somewhere around September 2018, give or take a month, I met up with Rich Rebuilds, and that was the first time I met him. Uh, so that was crazy experience. He was just starting in YouTube, and he was a guy that I watched a lot, and I was entertained by. So I emailed him, and we worked out a date to meet up, and in the very last video of this playlist, pretty much explains the whole project and everything that I did and it's the video that Rich and I took together. So don't skip everything just because you want instant gratification. If you like the details go ahead and watch the whole playlist through but if, if you can't stand the lack of editing and me misspeaking and all that stuff that you could skip all the way to the end and watch that last video that pretty much explains everything that I've done with the T-Rex build. But if you do decide to watch everything just know it is rough. Uh, I was like I said, knew it all this stuff, and I never planned on making this a real channel. In the very first video, it's not explained in the video, but the first video is me transitioning from my idea of the onboard battery pack to the trailer. It was kind of the day that I realized that the onboard battery idea just was not a, not a good one. It was too expensive, and it just wasn't a good path to follow. And in this first video, I'm making that realization in my head. Also know that since all of these little clips, I've tweaked and changed this T-Rex version one so many times. I'll get a video of how it is currently in its current state after a year, year and a half, whatever it's been. I'll show you how it looks now, but I've tweaked and changed this design a lot since these early videos. These are the earliest videos of when I built this trailer. Also, because they're not edited, Feel free to watch them at one and a quarter speed, one and a half speed. I won't be offended and I think you'll still get the same information. Okay, so I'll spin the camera around and I'll show you how it looks right now and then you can continue on with the playlist. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. It's windy here at my house like it always is, but you can see the wire that's going out here and it's actually going over here to my inverter. This is my T-Rex version two camper. I have a lot of videos out there already about this and the whole build of it. There's gonna be a lot more coming. So feel free to subscribe and check all that out. But that's my inverter. And right now this battery pack is powering the house. My house is mostly off grid, but I'm noticing here in December, 2019 that I can't quite be fully off grid with two EVs and the lifestyle that we have. So this is basically a supplemental power system 
in the winter. But in the summertime, when we have full sun, this thing powers the house for days and I rarely have to go on grid. It's really been awesome. The T-Rex version two that's over here, again, subscribe and watch more videos about that. But that one is an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack from Tesla and that one works a lot longer and we can stay off grid for quite a while with that in the summer with good sun. But back to the T-Rex version one, you'll notice a lot of differences looking at this compared to the final version in these videos that you're gonna about to watch. Some of them, for example, I added circuit breakers there for the heater, the Tesla battery heater that's in there. I went with a Bosch battery here because the other one had failed on one of my road trips to Albany, which I believe I also have a playlist set up for the first road trip to Albany. And I talk about the battery failure that was in here. Uh, added some labels, uh, the controllers right there, which wasn't installed in all these videos. And you can see the remnants of the old heater controls that were right there. One I removed, the other one's just still stuck there. But a lot has changed. It has worked great. Like I really can't say that I've had any failures or issues with it. It's been awesome. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for putting up with all my videos. Please subscribe, feel free to share, and enjoy the playlist. Thanks a lot, guys.